I was, a, I was aware of, of, you know, attempt of fans reorganizing summer school, which is, I think, is underway and it's going really well. And, and, and it was a great idea to, to develop this uh, school as a partnership between fans and SFN, and as a possibility to bring in faculty from both sides of the uh, of the Atlantic. And in the case of, you know, the topic of the school, as I, you know, as I mentioned before, is great to be working with David and being able to bring together two fields that. In theory, it seems to be distance, but in practice, they are really uh, neighbors, and, and it's great to be able to bring faculty together in, in this context. To be honest, I did not know that this was part of a series of schools. I learned of it through uh, through Oscar and knowing uh, what a fantastic job Oscar does in organizing events. I was delighted to be able to participate and to be the uh, you know, the component from the Society for Neuroscience involved in organizing this school. I think there are a couple aspects that are very important about the school. The first is having each of the faculty uh, give two presentations. The first to provide an orientation and background um, that will enable the students who come from a diverse range of disciplines uh, to be able to uh, enter into the field. And then the second uh, being more focused on the faculty's uh, latest research. The other aspect of the school that I think is particularly attractive is the way that students are engaged in working in groups um, to uh, think through the questions that arise uh, from the talks um, and I, we are uh, hopeful that that uh, interaction that the students will have with each other will be quite enriching uh, for their experience. Yeah, I think that I, I particularly like the fact that we are intensive at school in the sense that we spend, you know, a whole full day in, on every topic, but there's enough time for students to actually prepare for the talks next day and, and, and to think, reflect on, on what they have learned during the day. And, you know, we, we make an effort to have faculty involved in the school for as many days as possible, so they, they are stay, you know, stay around and manage to answer questions from the students and, and trying to make it very interactive, and I think that's Hopefully, that will be one of the success of the uh, of the uh, school. Well, I think the uh, you know the goal was to um, have faculty that would represent the gamut of topics from um, genetic liability uh, for psychiatric illness and genetic determinants of development um, through uh, the function um, and uh, 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 structural properties of. Uh, the developed brain. Um, so we, we really sought to have multiple levels of resolution of studies represented in the, the speakers um, and to look for individuals who were complementary um, in both their perspectives and the techniques that they used to study neurodevelopment and psychiatric illness. We have also tried to provide some context to some pressing uh, questions that, that are really up to date and you know and that refers to to what extent to what extent we can model actually um, a developmental disorder like schizophrenia. Is there any you know, does it make any sense to make a mouse model of autism? These are you know very fundamental questions that you know are are in the field. And by bringing people from different backgrounds, we we aim to provide, probably not provide a good answer to these, but actually to come around and see what are the pros and, and cons. And um, you know studies on iPC cells and, and you know, very cell-based um, um, approaches, you know, what are, what are you know, the benefits from, from approaching something as complex as the brain from a dish perspective. And you know, these sort of things that are really on, in the field right now, they're very hot. And you know, we have a range of experts here to be able to illustrate you know, what are the pros and cons of every approach. So I think that you know, having this variety of people it's really, uh, I think, key and very, very important for giving a good overview to students about these problems. I think that the, uh, the priorities were driven both by topics, but also by uh, wanting to ensure that the speakers, uh, faculty that were invited, were individuals known to be um, excellent teachers, um, known to be uh, gifted in interacting um, with students, um, and uh, individuals who were passionate um, about their area of investigation so that the students would leave uh, the class not only better informed um, about the uh, 
the state of the field and the uh, areas uh, that where we need advancement, but also uh, inspired um, to pursue that in their own careers. We haven't tried to cover up every single you know, disorder that we could. We, we actually prefer to, you know, as David has said, try to, to give an overview to what, from a biologist's perspective, might, might be seen as a very, as a kind of a continuum of, of, of a range of problems that end up giving very dif different clinical outcomes or syndromes. Um, but and we were more driven to, to be careful by choosing a specific faculty than rather to be comprehensive in covering it any specific uh, disease. So we like uh, the idea of students getting a broad overview on, on this uh, you know, big topic rather than, than you know, going out of, you know, of the way by just focusing on a particular disease. And, and that being said, I think that we have a little bit of, of everything in the school. So I think it's going to be a little bit for everyone and a lot of things that are not really on on the main thing of, of every single individual. So I think we are all going to learn a lot uh, during this week. So we hope uh, a number of things will come from the school. Uh, one of which is that the <clears throat> interaction between students and faculties uh, will uh, give them all uh, new perspectives on the research questions that they're pursuing, uh, new ideas uh, about how to understand and interpret their results, and plan for future experiments. Um, we've already heard mentioned uh, the possibility of finding uh, additional training positions um, for students who are here. So I think the idea of uh, developing uh, connections, uh, networking opportunities uh, that will lead to either training or collaborations um, are all possibilities. And I also like the idea that these uh, summer schools are a very relaxed kind of setting in which people can think a little bit outside the box, regular kind of way of thinking. And, you know, the, there's, there's the kind of interaction that actually motivate, you know, new experiments and new ideas and, and things that are a little bit away. I think people are a bit more relaxed at the schools at, at typical meetings, and that actually brings something, you know, value and that, you know, opens. Um, networking possibilities a bit, and, and uh, so I think that that's very useful for all, you know, faculty and and, uh, and students. So I hope, basically, I hope that we have a great time uh, in the school. Well, we uh, appreciate you taking a look at the website and the offerings that the school um, has. We believe that the uh, presentations will be quite interesting and informative, and uh, we welcome you to uh, enjoy the ones uh, that seem of most interest to you, and hopefully um, all of them. Welcome to the uh, this FENS, SFN Summer School on Neurodevelopmental Disorders, and there will be a range of presentations on this website, and you will be able to access them individually. They will cover up a range of topics on, on the theme of Neurodevelopmental Disorders, and we really hope you enjoy uh, uh, visiting this uh, site.